Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video with this one, my friends, I'm gonna be testing a GeForce GTX 750 Ti in Horizon Forbidden West. This one is a point of view version of the card, we are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers and I am overclocking it a little bit because it's just a reference design, you know, it doesn't come overclocked out of the box and the clock speeds that it will run at are basically the same as a factory OC'd 750 Ti. Over in Tech Power Up's GPU-Z you can see all of the GPU specs, 2 gigs of GDDR5, 640. 40 CUDA cores right there, PCI Express 3.0 times 16 yes, it's a times 16 GPU, unlike like the, the 4060s and stuff. <clears throat> and even though it released back in 2014, 10 years ago, it is a 10 year old GPU, it still supports the latest drivers, which is kind of insane. Over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 5 3600X and 16 gigabytes of RAM, and let's get right into it. Shall we? Okay, first of all, I am surprised that the 750Ti actually launches the game. We're inside of it right here, so that's great. Uh, and let's go over settings now. I'm starting at 1080p resolution. Everything is turned off right here. Dynamic resolution scale is anti-aliasing, upscalers. And over on the graphics settings, we're using the minimum settings in the game. Aside from FOV, I will turn it down in just a little bit because it actually improves FPS by quite a lot. But, you know, it also makes the game way, way uh, worse <laughs> to look at. <laughs> Guys, just appreciate the FPS that we're getting here in the loading screen because, yeah, that's that's the last we will see of 100 plus frames per second. And look at this, 1080p resolution. It's actually looking all right still, even at the very low settings. This game can look really, really pretty. And it's getting double digit FPS. I thought it was going to get a little bit worse than this, honestly. <laughs> Look at that, almost 20 frames per second. I guess in other areas we might actually be able to reach 20 FPS. Okay, that's not bad <laughs> for a 750 Ti, obviously. It's very bad because it's completely unplayable like this. <laughs> uh, over here, it actually looks really, really rough, guys. Holy crap, it has a lot of contrast or whatever because we have no shadows, basically. Uh, yeah, ooh, I can see some texture flickering issues sometimes. They, they can't really load properly, as you can see. <laughs> because of the two gigabytes of VRAM on this card. You really need four gigabyte GPUs if you want to play this properly without uh, flickering textures and stuff. Uh, but hey, given that it is a two gigabyte 750 Ti hey, and it, it actually is way below the minimum spec for this game, it's not doing a terrible job. Even like the GTX 1650 4GB GDDR5 that I tested on the minimum and recommended requirements video, because that's the minimum required GPU for this game, um, that dropped from 30 FPS at the very low preset at 1080p native resolution. This isn't really touching 30 FPS, but it is, it is impressive that it can actually run the game without stuttering, even though it runs out of VRAM and stuff. I'm impressed! I gotta say, I, I expected a lot worse than this. I expected single digits here from the 750 Ti. So the next thing to do is try to utilize some upscaling here. I'm gonna do like FSR performance, see if it can reach 30 frames per second. No, it cannot. <laughs> Oh boy. All right, we're in for a, a bad ride in this one, guys. Can we actually glide over this and launch in the air? Yes, yes, we can. That's nice. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, okay, so anyway, this is the FPS without restarting, so maybe if I restart the game, it will run a little bit better because it will reset the VRAM and RAM utilizations. So let's try that out. All right, we're back here, guys, and uh, it's it's still crap. Even with performance FSR2, as you can see, it's getting, yes, double digit, 20 FPS right here. So it's a little bit better, but it's still very, very bad. And the visuals look way worse at the moment because internally this is running at 540p basically with performance FSR. It's 50% resolution scale of 1080p and it goes by vertical resolution if you're wondering. Um, so it's, it's a little bit better, but no. <laughs> Still not good enough for a 750. Yeah. I, you know what? If we manage to get 30 FPS around here, even with some drops into like the, the low or mid 20s, I will consider it a playable experience for a 750 Ti. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, that, this area is really intensive right here for some reason. This little section. Oh, boy, it just gets wrecked completely, guys. I, I'm gonna go. There's hope. Since we got, like, 
15-ish FPS at 1080p resolution. Maybe at 720p we can get a lot more FPS. I don't know. Let's try it at native resolution. Uh, still on the lowest settings possible. FOV, I'm going to touch that at 720p probably uh, but let's restart again all right guys here we are 20 frames per second while dropping right here dropping sometimes from 20 but i mean th this is also one of the most intensive areas especially in terms of vram in the entire game and if you are playing the earlier sections of it not the burning shores dlc like i am over here it will actually consume a little bit less vram and ram and it's possibly going to hit higher fps as well because of it it's it's consistently above like 19 frames per second look at this 18 and 19 over there in this super super intensive part of the little town here in burning shores this is insane guys this is actually i mean it's obviously still unplayable maybe for someone used to playing games at like 20 to 30 frames per second with a 750 ti or like a gt710 for example <laughs> this will actually be playable you know <laughs> it's, it's not terrible of an experience because it doesn't stutter the frame times are consistent still that's kind of insane once again, especially given this is a, a 2 gigabyte GPU. I'm really wondering how a 4 gigabyte 750 Ti would do, guys, in this title. I'm, tr I'm gonna try to, to grab one to test in, in 2024, all right? But yeah, really impressive results. The performance FSR at 1080p was performing a lot worse than this, actually. Dropping down into the mid-teens, you know, sometimes. Uh, and this is consistently in the 20s, like 90% of the time. I guess so not a bad experience for the age of this GPU and the performance tier of this GPU as well remember it's a 50 Ti skew from 2014 it's not a high-end GPU from 2014 <laughs> okay very very impressive stuff and props to nvidia for supporting this gpu for so long giving it driver updates after 10 years is kind of insane all right what if we change the fov here because with the 1050 ti i saw this made a huge difference to fps we almost doubled the fps on that card but here with the 750 ti we gained about like one or two frames per second it's not really that big of a difference yeah i, I really thought it would make a much bigger difference here Wow, look at the birds over here. Still looks decent, right? Like, these are great graphics for very low, actually, for minimum settings in a game. But since the FOV doesn't really do much with the 10, uh, 750 Ti, I will go back to zero FOV because I feel a little bit more comfortable playing like this. It's the default as well, and a lot of people might actually get motion sick with it set to zero. Ooh, those textures looked terrible. Look at that. It's the draw distance of the texture there. Oh my god. Holy. That looks bad. All right. Anyway, that's supposed to look bad because it's minimum settings after all. Let's try to use some dynamic resolution scale to bump it up to 30 frames per second. Can it do it? Yes, it can. We are now at, well, 29, 30 FPS most of the time. This is now playable in terms of the FPS, you know. It still drops, okay? It still drops into the mid-20s at times, so it's not amazing, really. And the visuals look like crap now. <laughs> Everything is, like, super over-sharpened for some reason and super weird and pixelated. It's to be expected. Dynamic resolution scale is probably lowering it down to a really low resolution to be able to achieve 30 FPS. And even then, it can't really achieve 30 FPS all of the time. So, um, yeah, this is probably what, like 360p? Kind of looks like 360p, but I have no way to know <laughs> what the actual resolution is at the moment. Still, I think because it looks a little bit over sharpened, I would probably choose to lower the resolution manually. This game can go down to like 800 by 600 resolution which is very low for today's standards actually a lot of games don't really allow you to go below 1024 by 768 which is considerably higher of a resolution than 800 by 600 but this one does and I am very thankful for that as well. Thank you, uh, developers of this game. Really like what you've done with the optimization. Like, the fact that it doesn't stutter on a 750 Ti from 10 years ago is kind of insane. Yeah, it's not a, a good experience by any means. But again, some people might find this 
playable. All right, and look at that. Still getting 30 FPS sometimes. Oh, it's it's a blink fest though. Look at this. <laughs> the noise in the image is insane. The, the the pixelation as well. Holy. Look at that. 23 here. Looking at the entire city from above. Still dropping down to 20 FPS. Yeah, at this point, it's kind of like a, a, a bandwidth limitation. The card just doesn't have what it takes to run this properly, no matter the resolution that it is at. So maybe 720p is actually the sweet spot. Let's disable dynamic resolution scaling now. Go down to the lowest res of 800 by 600 resolution, my friends. And uh, this is it, okay? Native 800 by 600. I'm gonna quit, restart the game again. And here we have it, 800 by 600, dropping down to like 20, well, 19 frames per second. Yeah, kind of the same values as previously at 720p, but it touches 30 frames per second more often, probably. Let's drop down there, 25, 24. Okay, not too bad. 1% lows are still very good compared to the averages. Obviously, they're not very good because they're not at 30 or 60 FPS. But uh, hey, considering what we've experienced so far, this is probably the best experience as well because it doesn't look as bad as with DRS enabled targeting 30 frames per second. It just lowers the resolution way too much compared to this. And 800 by 600 still looks pretty impressive. You know what? Let's fight this guy over here, dropping down into like the, the low 20s yeah i guess it just get, doesn't really get much better than this maybe with a, a factory overclock version of the card and if you manually overclock it on top of that it will be a, a bit better than this you know but yeah 750 ti is just not capable of playing this game even though it's impressive what it can do in it not gonna lie right i am impressed with its performance because i was expecting a lot worse it doesn't mean that you should play the game <laughs> with the 750 Ti. And another thing about the 750 Ti, this is the first GPU that my girlfriend had for her PC. We built her PC with an i3 and the 750 Ti at the time. And I benchmarked GTA 5 on the 750 Ti. And it was the first video that actually kind of blew up. It got like 17,000 views or something in a, a month, <laughs> which was insane at the time for me, you know. Anyway, let's stop it there, guys, for 800 by 600. And I'm gonna go to a less intensive area of the game now. All right, look at this, guys. It is getting 30s right here. Not bad. Obviously, this is not intensive. There's nothing here, basically. But you can get 30 plus FPS sometimes. But now we're back into the 20s again. So yeah, <laughs> even in a less intensive area, it's not an amazing experience, really. It's never going to be. We're well below minimum requirements again. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot about using the dedicated and the uh, actual usage of the VRAM in this video, guys, since it's another system. That's something that I started utilizing in my other videos. Uh, but it's safe to say that two gigabytes are not enough for this game. And it's, it's consistently maxing that out. Uh, so yeah, 30s, 40s even, it's kind of insane. So in some areas of the game at 800 by 600 native, you can actually get 30 plus on average. It's not a good experience, but it is impressive for what it is once again. And the lights are just flickering all over the place, actually. <laughs> it's the dynamic lighting system here with the sun and the shadows. But since we don't have shadows enabled, <laughs> it, it just looks really weird. Now, lastly, I think we should try FSR ultra performance i guess at 800 by 600 see what kind of fps we can get here still doesn't look too terrible this is basically 240p resolution at the moment internally and then it upscales it to 800 by 600 and look at that guys it still drops down into the 20s at times Yep, in intensive scenarios, well, this is not really very intensive either, as I told you. But I guess because we have a little bit of grass on screen, maybe, or are turning the camera around really fast like this, it just starts dropping again. So, um, yeah, don't buy this game with 750 Ti, but I still really enjoyed taking a look at it. Let me know if you guys liked it as well. Do like the video if you did, of course, and I'll catch you in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.